we have a fraction, 48 divided by 144. So we want to rewrite this in its lowest form, something that's a little more familiar to us. So to do that, you can do it by any number of ways. You start by just reducing them using common factors. So you can pick any numbers that you want, or if you're starting to get brave, you can guess larger numbers and divide by those. So since they're both even, we can automatically see that we can divide by 2, for example. So if we divide both sides by 2, both the numerator and the denominator, it's the same fraction, but it'll be written in a slightly different way. So if we divide the numerator by 2, we get 24. And if we divide the denominator by 2, we get 72. So they're still even, so we can divide both by 2 again. It's not necessarily the fastest way to do it, but it's an easy way. If, it's, if they're even numbers, you can always see that. So that gives us 12 over 36. Again, they're still even. Let's just keep going. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 36 divided by 2 is 18. So we're getting there. We can keep doing this as far as we want. But at this point, we can already see that 6 goes into 18 a certain number of times. And then we can just write it from there. So 6 divided by 6 is 1. 18 divided by 6 is 3. So this can be written as this. It's the exact same fraction every step along the way, but it's a much more common and simple way to write it, 1 third. We can write this exact same thing as a decimal as well. So 1 third is also equal to 0 0.3 repeating. So sometimes we write the line above it for repeating. So this is 0 0.3333 forever. And so this and this are the same as 48 over 144.